To answer this question, let's look at the identity or equation for the quantity theory of money. M is the money supply, the amount of cash and demand deposits out there, the amount of money in our economy. V is the velocity of money, which is the average number of times money is spent and respent in the economy. When you multiply those together, that equals the price level in economies times the real output, or real GP, of goods and services produced in that country. Now notice, when you multiply price level times real GP, this gives you the nominal GDP. So an increase in the money supply or an increase in the velocity of money will increase the nominal output or the nominal GDP. That's why the answer is D. Now the reason you're learning this concept in this unit is because it shows you a key concept right here, the relationship between the money supply and price level. Let's assume for a second that the loss of money is just constant. So the amount people spend and respend of money in an economy doesn't really change much. Let's also assume the real GDP is constant because that's based on what we can produce. Right? Our output, our capital, our machinery tells us how much stuff we can produce. And so this one's constant. This equation says that if these two are constant and you increase the money supply, you're going to have a proportional increase in price level. So if you increase the money supply 50%, you're going to have 50% increase in prices. This is the equation that the government of Zimbabwe didn't understand. If the government keeps printing out money, producing more and more money to pay for its debts, that doesn't mean we're going to produce more stuff. It just means we're going to have higher and higher price level or hyperinflation. Now you know why we can't pay off the $16 trillion United States national debt all in cash. It would cause this to happen. Quantity theory of money.